All right, Everfall. Two more doors to look for, anxiety and hesitation. Anxiety, the feeling you get when you upload a video. Hesitation, the feeling you get before recording a video. Goody, here we go. Anxiety is actually right up near the top on the left. Might be why I was missing it for so long. It seemed so obvious, I probably thought that I'd already done it or something. All right, so we just need to find one more after this one. Hopefully it won't be too bad. Maybe it's right under this one. It's because, uh... Yeah, the, trying to fall off ledges until you find the right one is kind of a pain in the ass. Hello. Just, just take him out before he can summon too many things. Oh, oh, crap. Alright, let's get a little distance. Who's a big nasty? Alright, where are you? Try to interrupt those spell casts. If you could just politely die, that'd be swell. Is he- wait, did he just die? Oh, he fell. I did not realize that was an option. Ow? <laughs> they don't like it when I do that. Alright. A little low on stamina at the moment. S still pecking away. Oop. Hey, buddy. You shall not cast. That is a great line. Oh my god. I'm pretty happy about that one. Oh, might as well pummel some of these guys with melee for a little while. Because I don't have the stamina to do that many attacks. But my regular ass melee is relatively effective in a way that my normal my my regular bow shots often aren't. Hello. Got him. Alright, primary threat removed. Having a pawn with holy certainly helps here. Ooh, two more wake stones. There we go. All is good. I think we're going to be entering New Game Plus this episode. Or entering the chain towards that. I think there might be a, a few tiny things that some people have recommended checking out, but for the most part, uh, I think I'm kind of done with the post-game, just because it mostly involves everything being gray and dark and sad looking as you go through scenery after scenery you've seen before, whether you're talking about the Everfall or the co the main continent, and fighting basically just the same monsters over and over again with like a few co like palette swaps. This is the blue one. This is the black one. And it's like I'm I think I'm ready. I think I'm about ready to check out Darker Risen. The rinse and repeat is definitely getting to me a little bit. So are any of these doors open, or is that the whole chamber? He dropped wake stones, so I would not be surprised if this was the entirety of anxiety. I think it was anxiety. Yeah. I believe we're done here. Okay. We appear to be done here. Alright, cool. Pretty much as expected, Anxiety's the one that's directly... Or Anxiety was up there, I think, and... Yeah, Hesitation's directly below. So it was, it was once again just a chain of chambers directly related to each other. Hello, giant man. After this, I'll probably swap in some new... Pawns. And get ready for the big final thing. For all I know, it won't, it'll just kick my pawns out, though. <laughs> Hello? Probably a reasonable spot just to throw in a quick save so I don't have to find this place again. Here we go. Friends? What's that? Oh, there we go. The Saurians. I'm like, are th those are spears, right? Just on the wall? It's kind of funny that they, gi they hold giant weapons that, bl that don't blend in when their whole thing is blending in. It really would have been nice of them, evolutionary-wise, to just have some nice, big, uh, claws or something. Aren't they all- are they, aren't they all the same character? Are they, are they different? They said slay the healer first. I can't tell. Do they, do they have different items? Admittedly, a, a spear and a staff are not the easiest things to tell apart from each other. Oops, missed the tail. Trying to take the tail. Oh god, I'm blind. I'm trying to find the tails in here. Um. Did they just all die in that? Are they up in. Oh, they are up in there. <laughs> I just shot them out of the sky. <laughs> That's fantastic. That is fantastic. Wow. Did not think that I would be sniping lizards out of the sky in a tornado with a, with ten, with a ten arrow flurry. Well, they're dead now. <laughs> there are some scary spells in this game. 
At some point, I, w I think I would like to replay the game as a spellcaster just to try to get an appreciation for the kind of spells that they have access to. Probably not right away, because in the in the in the more in the more immediate sense, uh, when I do finish Dragon's Dogma and and uh, Dark Arisen, there will be there will be a slight sigh of relief, not because the not because I want to stop playing the game, but because it'll be like, oh yes, slightly more time. I have a very I've made my schedule very busy. <laughs> But at some point down the line, the same way that I replayed Dark Souls games, I could see myself replaying this game as a spellcaster. Especially since the story is so minimal that I'm not going to be like, Oh, this story again. Because I'll be like, oh yeah, I guess there's some cutscenes sometimes. In the most, in the mostly inconsequential story. Oh, there's one over here. I figured that someone would try to ambush me as I came through. Go for that tail. There we go. I like that we're this far into the game and the pawns are saying stuff like, The tail is most likely its weakness. I'm not sure though. Maybe we should do some research. <laughs> Stop casting. Stop casting. Stop casting. He's casting, I don't like it. I cannot hit its tail from here, apparently. God damn it, hitboxes. I will say that there's something frustrating about, like, it's either the hitboxes themselves, or it's just the third person perspective m messing with the actual half of your arrow compared to what lo your screen looks like, but sometimes you just are lining up a shot, and it will not hit the thing that you think it's going to hit. <laughs> and that gets frustrating. Very quickly. Hello, friend. This is more This is more uh, energy efficient. This is, this is the hybrid of melee attacks. <laughs> oh, oh, whoops. My bad. Once I saw him rearing up, I was definitely prepping the... <laughs> His, his big dumb Godzilla kick. I love that. Like he's knocking down, like he's about to knock down a, down a Tokyo skyscraper or something. <laughs> uh, I was definitely trying to dodge out of the way when he when he went after me, but uh, there's definitely some animation priority where once you're in the middle of an attack, you can't exactly cancel out. Unless unless you uh, map that one uh, animation cancel to one of your moves, but I haven't. I don't think I'd reflexively go to it fast enough to make it worth worth equipping. Because there is an an- rogues do have an animation cancel. That- that would take some practice to get into- into practice of using. Tail? There we go. Just gonna keep pecking away. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I wasn't even hitting him. That was a waste. <laughs> Down with you. There we go. I was worried that finding these two chambers was going to take a long time, because there's, like... I don't remember how many exactly, but close to 20, I think? So it seemed like it'd be a huge pain in the ass to find the last ones, but, uh... Turns out it was just a quick little string of chambers that were hanging off the beginning of the, uh, fall in the first place. So I, I had one fruitless fall where I went through the entire sequence of platforms and didn't find anything, but then the, as soon as I started over, I, I had it. Did I just get a new bow? Oh, it's a... it's a, um... yeah. It's a spellcaster bow. So I can't even look at the stats properly, apparently. Can I look at them here? 430 magic damage. To compare it to 621 on this item, but this one's Dragon Forge and this one's no nothing. It's called Dragon's Quickening and Dragon's Blink, so this might be just as good of a... of a dragon item once it's maxed out. But it is a magic archer bow. I might investigate magic archery just because... Starting a whole new tier. I think my first priority is probably going to be to go into uh, melee. Yeah, probably going to go into warrior mode though, just just because I want to um, get that extra carrying capacity. Everything's ma mapped out here. Yep. I might I might change my vocation to warrior the moment I enter new game plus. Oh my god, there's a hydra in here. Okay, didn't expect that one. <laughs> did not did not expect a giant hydra to show up. Are you guys going to respawn, or can I just freely take out all the undead just to get them out of the way? I guess if it's anything like the other fight, all the undead are probably here as a, uh... Oops. Wow. Rude. There's probably a decent... There's probably a decent chance the undead are, are going to be respawning, just because... I think the last time we fought a Hydra, there was an endless... Endless array of, uh... Goblins. They're really not much of a threat because of how slow they are, but... If, if I can take them out now, I can more freely target the Hydra with the... Uh, yeah, I'll be more free to attack the Hydra throughout the fight. 
because while I'm aiming up, I don't have to worry about somebody running up, running up on me, hopefully. Is that all the undead? Sure seems like it. Hey, hell. Well, this, this, for most of this playthrough, I've had no awareness of how not effective Hell has been in combat, and at one point I didn't even notice for a while that she got straight up uh, petrified to, to death. And it's just because, uh... I play this game kind of like a Dark Souls game to some extent. I get so focused on my character and just try not to die. Which, to be fair, I'm playing a rogue, so... They're, the, they're, the, they're one of the more independent, uh... Independent-minded classes in RPGs in general. That kind of are up to their own devices half the time. Uh... My character is squishy enough that I really just focus on trying not to get hit by things and dealing damage. And I just hope the party's doing their job. So for the longest time, I, I guess people watching, because they don't have to play the game, they could, they're free to look at whatever part of the screen they want to without worrying about getting hit, because they're not playing. But they, got, they were very aware of the fact that Hell was just kind of standing around sometimes, or doing whatever. And they were immediately they were aware faster than me, apparently, that Hell was straight up dying of petrification in front of me on the screen without me noticing. Which is, which is definitely funny. The dynamic between doing a Let's Play and watching a Let's Play is really interesting, just because there's basically no concentration involved in watching one, so you can notice so many things because you're not controlling or focusing on things. It's a learning experience. I encourage a lot of people to try making try making stuff like this just to get a, a perspective a little bit. It's, it's, it's interesting because you can download the program I'm using right now, OBS, completely for free and just hit record and see what happens. And even watching your own recording afterwards, you, sometimes you can be fascinated by the things that are happening on the screen that, you're, that you don't notice because you've never, never in your life have potentially ever had like a recording or a record to show you things you don't notice. <laughs> All right, Hydra. Your, these heads grew back a lot faster, didn't they? Is this a different variation of Hydra? I wonder. I've only killed one before, so I don't have a big sample size. <laughs> I think they've all been different colors too. I feel like the I feel like the first Hydra was greenish. This one's kind of a blue color. Yeah, oh, you know what? Let's just do a liquid vim. I've got some of these. I'm tired of waiting for my stamina, frankly. Oh! Stop flailing! You big dumb monster! There we go. What if I just took off all the heads? Doesn't, this, doesn't that sound like fun? There we go. Down with you! Just stop having heads, it's okay. No, stop growing another one. I want them all off. It might be impossible to take them all off. This one's like invulnerable. Oh, they, wow, they grew back already. All of them. Well, at least it did a lot of damage, I guess. He definitely gets very distracted trying to grow back his heads or something. Ow. That hurt. Are you, are you trying to heal us, Iris? What is she doing right now? She's been casting for like 10 years. What are you casting, Iris? Are you gonna heal me? Okay, cool. I was hoping it was that spell, but I couldn't really tell. Sometimes I can't tell the difference between that and when she's casting uh, holy weapons. I haven't noticed the, the, the difference between them, if there is one. It's probably pretty tough to play as a caster in this game without relying on your pawns constantly to defend you. Because, uh... Seems like it takes a very long time to get anything done as a caster. But those are some scary spells. Hey, thank you, Lynette. Oh, is that good or bad? Oh, that's good. <laughs> I think that was good. There's definitely moments where I'm like, there's a spell happening. I don't know if it's on my team. <laughs> Generally, if it doesn't look like the healing spell, I just try to run away from, I just try to run away from it and just hope that I'm right. <laughs> They're picking her up. No, don't pick up. Don't pick her up. I can get her. It's okay. She is way up there. There we go. There's so many heads coming off. <laughs> they just go sailing through the air. It's amazing. Oh, I made a mistake. Oh, right. I forgot about the flame thing. That's how we deal with that. 
Oh, I kind of have to rely on them to do that, though. I guess I should have equipped fire arrows. I've been really bad about crafting arrows and then not ever taking them with me. Well, I took them with me for like 20 episodes and then never used them a single time. And I was like, I guess I should just stop weighing myself down with these things I forget to use. <laughs> I'll probably need them more in Dark Risen anyway. Alright, we're like, we're mostly half dead. They seem friendly. Making so many new friends that are like the 17th head of the same monster. <laughs> I wonder if a, when a Hydra head comes off, does it feel like when parents are watching their their uh, their kid graduate and go to college and and like they grow up so fast? It's like it's, it's like calm down. It's not like you're never gonna see them again. Oh, I made a terrible mistake. What, what am I doing the most with myself here? I have it. Ah, let's just pop another one. God damn it! <laughs> Stay still for a second. There we go. Off with your heads, every single one of them, and that one, and that one, and oh god. And that one, and that one, and that one. God damn it! <laughs> Stop leaving my field of view. Oh, jeez. All right, well. Boop. That'll help me out. Oh, everyone's down. But my liquid vim, it's still active. I can't waste it. You just hang on, guys. I'll get to you in a minute. Yay, she's getting up on her own. And Liquid Vim has worn off. Where's the other one? Oh, there it is. Wait, didn't I just pick you up? Oh, no, I mixed, I mixed up which one was which. It's fine. It's fine. They're barely people. <laughs> Can't live forever, right? Oh, wow. Just blew that one altogether. Well, I used up the rest of my stamina, but at least I missed. Down. Down. I'll get I'll get right back with you guys in a minute. I just need stamina, so I'm just going to slowly peck away for a while. Open mouth, open mouth. How dare you chew with your mouth open. All right. Just pecking away at these big dumb heads. Oh, what? Vulnerability. Juggle that shit. Oops, stamina's back. It's like a dentist check-in for a, an entire orgy of snakes. Really, a, I'm pretty sure a Hydra was invented as a concept because someone saw a snake orgy. Like from Bloodborne. Because that is some nightmare shit. It's like, it's like a Tangula, except you know what's happening in there. Please? Please stop living? It's okay. We've been doing this for long enough, you can stop now. I think they get it. <laughs> well, I'm not going under there, you just, you just stay. Oh, well, there, here, there it goes again. He's gonna spin, isn't he? There we go. Hydra uses Tail Whip. It's not very effective. There we go. Oop. Oop, that's a lot of stamina. <laughs> the head's just here. Yeah, the attempts to cauterize the wounds have not been very effective so far. The heads are kind of sticking around. They just keep coming back anyway. This one must be more resistant to that measure. Oop, that was some nasty acid. Did it really grow the other one back already? Oh no, it hasn't. It's one of these ones. All right, stamina's back. Off with heads. Every single head. Hey buddy, come back here. 
Yep. We're almost there. We're almost there. Got him. 31,000 experience, dear lord. Well, we got him. How heavy am I now, average? Level 54. Well, I feel like I've done alright. People said not to kill Grigory until 50... Until... Uh, try to kill him before I hit 50. And... Even this late in, I'm only 54. I think I've gone early enough. What kind of grinding do people have to do... To be that overleveled in, in the first place? It seems like it'd involve a lot of it to me. Alright, well you're down. We good? I believe we're good. There's a bunch of wake stones. How are we doing on the total, just from what I'm holding right now? Where's that quest? Ferry the gathered wake stones back to the pond. Wait, I have... Wow, I have 20 on me right now, apparently. Are they all on, on hell or something? Alright, we'll do a quick glance around for objects. Hello. A little bit of you. A little bit of something something. There's a chest. Here we go. Wake stone shard. What do you how do you feel about more wake stones to go through wake stones? Dear lord. Alright, I'll be collecting a lot of these. Alright, yeah, I'm not too worried about going to New Game Plus because uh well, first of all, it's the same game again, so if I really was desperate, I could just come back to this point again and come back to the uh, depths, and it wouldn't be that big of a deal. Since I think progressing through just the main story and nothing else doesn't take that long, and there's no real uh, ramp up in difficulty, so it wouldn't be that big of a deal to just go through it again. But, uh, mainly the one, the one, ma the biggest loose end right now is doing a proper showdown with the Ur the the Ur Dragon at some point, because I've, I've done one where I didn't fight him at all, because I accidentally triggered what makes him leave. And the one where I just killed him when he was automatically already dead. <laughs> so we've had, uh, two misfires, although one of them was very lucky and got me loot. Uh, I think this chamber's empty at this point. So, well, apparently there's a shortcut to that dragon in New Game Plus where they just make it easy to get to him so that everyone can access him once you've passed the first playthrough. So that is less of a loose end and more of a, eh, we'll get to it at some point. It's not something to hold me back. And I am anxious to try out, uh... I am quite anxious to try out Dark Arisen and find out what all that noise is about. Because that's supposed to be the most interesting combat-related content in the game, from what I've heard. So guys, thanks for watching like always. And next episode, I think we're going to see the, the second ending of Dragon's Dogma, or whatever you want to call it. See you next time.